Yeah. Hey y'all, what is up and welcome back to my channel for an apartment renovation. So today we are renovating this apartment in the arts district that actually belongs to Salim Benali. You know, the very iconic, run-down, trashy, poor apartment. Yeah, that's what we're working with here. And as you can see, I'm kind of going with that same um, run-down you know shabby look yeah shabby uh <laughs> and i was kind of like inspired to do something a little bit different because i feel like i've been building houses that are just so fancy and so nice i wanted to do something a little bit more realistic uh for certain like people and sims because not everybody just moves into this big huge grand beautiful house you know so I wanted to do something a little bit more shabby and I don't know, I just, I think it adds so much personality. I really love furnishing and building houses or doing builds like this, but <clears throat> anyways, I'm going to try not to like cough and hack and if I do, I will cut it out, I promise, but I just cannot kick this stupid cough that I've had. It's really frustrating, <laughs> but anyways, so the idea behind this apartment is for a struggling musician and at first I was thinking maybe struggling artists, but I never play with musicians. Like I never get a guitar, a piano, and just, you know, have my Sims write songs and just try to make it big. And so I definitely see this Sim being a male and I don't think he's from San Machino. I believe he's probably from like the suburbs or something, Willow Creek, one of those cities where you know, he doesn't have a lot of opportunity, but music has always been his passion growing up. He's got a beautiful voice, you know. He probably makes, I don't know, I didn't give him like a YouTube station, but maybe he makes like YouTube videos or on his social media. He uploads his songs. He writes music. And he's just really talented. So, um... <clears throat> I was at first thinking I was going to furnish it towards a girl because honestly, <clears throat> my gosh, my voice is going out. But honestly, when I first started like imagining this rundown apartment for a struggling musician, I was thinking about that movie, Coyote Ugly. And if you have watched Coyote Ugly, I need you to let me know because you're my favorite. That is, hands down, my favorite movie in the whole world. I love the movie Coyote Ugly. And for those of you who don't know what Coyote Ugly is, you really need to find it and you need to watch it. But it's about a struggling musician. And she um, plays the piano and she sings. Anyways, she moves to New York City in like a rundown apartment. And she starts working at this bar where she's hoping, you know, she can get some like gigs to, you know, sing and whatnot. But she actually um, is like a bartender slash uh, coyote is what they're called. And she's basically she dances on bars for men. And, you know, she gets to, you know, lip sing and all that fun stuff. Anyways, it's a really good movie. But, like, the apartment that she lived in was really, really crappy. It got broken into because it just wasn't a good area. Uh, and it, it bugs just you just not a cute apartment especially for a girl to live in but um, I, I feel like I never furnish apartments for male sims just because I don't know if it's because I'm a girl or what <laughs> but I decided to go for a male sim here and as you can see you know the furnishing and everything kind of suits a male sim more but <clears throat> anyways once I kind of like started imagining that Sim, I just I fell in love with the idea of him. And I was just like imagining like his style and how he looked in my head. And I may do a creative Sim on him because uh, Pixel Thirst, like in my head, he is like, mm, he's a snack. Like he's just very ambitious. And I feel like a lot of your Sims would appreciate having this the struggling musician in their save, you know, to write them a love song and sing to them. So expect possibly a creative sim um, of a struggling musician in the near future. You know, I did mention I want to start doing more creative sims outside of my Sims 3 to Sims 4 series. So yeah, I think that's a good idea. So if you want to see that, let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, on to the build. Um, I kind of kept the same floor plan almost as the original floor plan. 
I off camera fooled around a little bit and tried to do something different, but ultimately this is just like the most roomy of floor plan that I could think of because I did want there to be a lot of space on, not okay it's like a box apartment but enough space for him to have like a little area for his piano and his guitar and for him to practice singing and everything so I went with this floor plan but later in the video you actually see me cut into the wall of the bathroom right there in the hallway entryway and I do add they stand up washer and dryer so this apartment is fully equipped for laundry which I rarely ever I don't think I have ever actually since laundry came out created a build where there is no laundry I just it's realistic to the game I just you have to have laundry and unfortunately you know laundry mats would be like a cool addition to the game but I don't even I mean you could build one but can you actually I'm not sure somebody let me know can you put your laundry in your inventory and take it to a laundromat and wash it that way if you know I've never tried that but if you know let me know in the comments down below that's that'd be pretty cool <laughs> you could definitely do that but I did have the room to make a little laundry area so I did that but anyways I did do a pretty good job I think at cluttering it up and making it look like you know he doesn't have a lot of money obviously uh, the flooring is a little bit worn the walls have stains all over them and towards the end of the video you'll see me go back in and I actually put uh, the rips you know like where it looks like the wall paper is coming off I did kind of add that throughout the build behind like the picture so it's kind of like he was trying to cover it up but I think overall, even though it's a very cheap apartment, it's very run down and crappy, um, I did not cover up any of the rat holes or any of the plumbing and electrical boxes. So I'm pretty sure it shouldn't affect any kind of gameplay. I know sometimes when I go and furnish these type of apartments with like the rat holes, I cover them up and some people are like, okay, well, um, you're covering them up and... Now my sims have to move all the furniture in build mode before, you know, the exterminator repairman can come and do anything. So, I'm pretty sure I kept everything accessible. So, if you do want to download this apartment and play in it, you know, when the rats come out and your plumbing breaks and all of that, pretty sure you shouldn't have any problems having you know the exterminator or yourself try to fix it so that's good but anyways aside from the little critters and it just being run down and just ew i think that this sim is very proud of this place and they try to keep it up as you know as much as they can even though he is a male sim i, I didn't really junk it up too much it's not very messy i gave him like a little gaming console center with like the debug game controllers and I put it on his little coffee table with a stack of CDs kind of like it's game so aside from him being a struggle musician obviously I think he's just a young sim you know he likes to play his video games have his friends over he's into sports which is why you see me put those little signed autograph pictures of you know the the soccer ball and the jersey on the wall just to add a little bit of decoration and in his bedroom i was able to fit a closet and his room is not spacious at all which is why i did not have a desk included in this build which you know is fine because i gave him a laptop and i put it there on the dining room table which obviously once you download this apartment if you want to the laptop can be put into the inventory and he can just take it out and put it up whenever he wants so you know your guests have room to eat at the table as well but anyways I didn't think that there was really much need for a desk in this apartment because it's so little and because we have laptops now it just you don't have to put like an office in every build and I have to keep remembering that or just like a little desk area which you know in most of my bigger family builds it's more realistic but you know <laughs> I did go and give him a stereo in the living room and it's probably the most expensive item in the house it is the most I think it is the most expensive stereo but I love the way it looked um, I imagine that you know he brought it from home <laughs> 
um, and in his bedroom I did put the little box there kind of like he's still in the process of unpacking because he is new to the city and he's just trying to you know have some opportunities and play around in the different districts and make some money and make his name known here I am putting the rips in the wall and fixing the lights and <clears throat> I went into edit and I forgot I didn't even furnish um, the bathroom so here we are furnishing the bathroom I was trying to think of a different wallpaper because that's just like ratchet but this is supposed to be a ratchet apartment so and ended up giving him the same tiling that's in the kitchen um, and uh, yeah it doesn't have a bathtub but I didn't really have a lot of room so all he has is a standalone shower which you know it's a cheap apartment not really a big deal but anyways this build is wrapping up so if you liked it be sure to give it a big thumbs up it's available for download on the gallery um, yeah hope you guys enjoyed thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later bye like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together it's so beautiful, you and me, we meant to be.